I'm from a town called Burleson, Texas. This is a town where football's life and everyone's your neighbor even though you just met them. The reason why I started to love film is because when I was eight, I stole a camcorder from my dad and on a vacation. I started filming me and my cousins doing little skits and just having fun. And ever since then, I've never put a camera down. And I've kind of started from that doing stop motions to now making big short films and big movies for everyone. With my car, Betsy, Betsy. is the cup half full or half empty? Life is priceless. Starting my sophomore year, I was in my AV class in my school. And it started with just making little shorts and learning how to use Premiere and After Effects and Photoshop. And then by my senior year, I was the director of our school news show. So I was in charge of everybody, of the scripts, the anchors, the segments, and everything else to put this out at the end of the week by Friday. I decided to go to Full Sail because it was the one school that I found that was actually hands-on that could teach me everything I wanted to know in a span of time that I thought was appropriate. And honestly, it was the best decision I've made in my life so far. I think one thing that has been my biggest challenge in life would be my dyslexia. Because ever since I was age about kindergarten, first grade, I thought I was stupid in my class. I thought I was the dumbest one ever. But really, it was just that I had this disability where I couldn't write or spell or read as well as others in my class. Now dyslexia works in a funny way. Uh, it, isn't, it doesn't make it to where it's unreadable. I can still read a word. It'll just change letters around, or it'll flip them, or B's will look like D's, and O's will look like Q's, and uh, it's pretty annoying. I think whenever people would look at my work, and if they genuinely in enjoyed it, I think that is what success is, and that is my level of making it right there. Growing up, I was supported all the way. Uh, I've never had a family member say you can't do it. They've always helped me. And that is honestly one of the best things that has ever happened to me in my life. 